Aloha friends! Good morning! I am over at Lola's and she will be showing us how to make her fresh lumpia, uh, also called the Filipino lumpiang sariwa recipe. So here are the ingredients that Lola has already prepped up. We'll start with over here. She had boiled um, pork with um, skin on. That's um, something that we can buy over here at, over at the commissary. And she just um, flavored it with salt and pepper, Lola. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper and boiled it for how long? Uh, One hour? About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Garlic, minced garlic, um, onion. She also chopped some fresh um, shrimp. What kind of shrimp? Uh, wild caught. Wild caught shrimp? From the U.S. From the U.S. <laughs> and then, this one is jicama. Jicama is a root, right? Um, you can find it along with like the potatoes and the onions. It's more of a Spanish um, vegetable, right? Jicama is a vegetable, not a fruit. And she chopped it up. And this is approximately three cups. And this one is celery, about a quarter to a half a cup. One cup chopped um, carrots and about two. Two cups to two and a half cups of sayote, which is also a Spanish uh, vegetable. And sayotes look like this. So you peel it and you cut it in half and then you take out the middle. The middle part has a seed. And then you chop it up. And then we're also going to add some bean sprout. We're also going to use the red leaf lettuce. We're going to wash this really well. And then we're going to separate our spring roll wrapper. We happen to have gotten this because it's made in the U.S. Lola prefers the Singapore or the made in the U.S. brand. And don't separate it uh, too far in advance because Lola said that it dries out. One of uh, vegetable oil. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then put the garlic. We're cooking outside because uh, to get more light for you guys. Okay, so garlic, and then we're putting in the onion. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. And then the chop chop uh, pork. Mm. Brown it. Mm -hmm. yeah. First we boiled it, now we're gonna brown it. Gonna go ahead and put the shrimp. Half this one of black pepper. Okay, black pepper. Okay. And then her salt, she's gonna put half teaspoon of salt. Okay. So for this batch, we're putting in about about half a teaspoon. She said it depends on the amount of uh, meat that you have. Okay. Shrimps are plumping up, so that's when you can tell it's cooked. It doesn't take that long. And then carrots. Carrots. Sayote. You can put at the same time with this. Mm -hmm. And the celery. Okay, so she went ahead and put the carrot, the sayote, and the celery. So let it cook for about two minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. So she's putting in the vegetable cube. Vegetable cube. Like the cube bouillon. I'll show you guys that when we go inside. And this is just one cube, yeah. one cube to season it. So we went ahead and stir it up and then my mom said to put the lid on for a few minutes because the steam will cook the sayote and soften it up. So we covered it for about two to three minutes. She tasted it and it's nice and tender. Now we're going to put the jicama. And the bean sprouts. Oh, and the bean sprouts. Oh, no, mom. 
So this is one bag. Mm -hmm. I don't like to see that. Mm -hmm. It's done. Mm -hmm. This uh, bean sprout don't need to overcook. Only mm -hmm. half cook. So it's better. And also the hickama the same. You want it crunchy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay, she said we're all done. She just mm -hmm. mixed it for a good minute or so. Mm -hmm. Just turned off the stove and just mix it. Make sure that the bean sprouts are fully immersed into the hot okay, veggies. Okay. Two cups. okay, we're gonna put two cups of water into a saucepan, bring it to a boil, and we are now going to make the sauce for our lumpia. Then another uh, one cup of uh, cold water, and then another one cup of cold water. But you cannot put; you have to wait there. Okay. And then put it aside. This one, one cup cold water. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to put the cold start first, so I don't have to. Uh, okay. Dry this. So she has one cup of cold water. She has uh, corn starch. One tablespoon. Uh, I, I'm gonna put more than that. Oh, okay. About uh, three tablespoons. Okay, three tablespoons cornstarch corn onto starch. the cold water. Mm -hmm. And then three tablespoons of soy sauce. It depends on your I know, taste. Two, three. All right. Along with that, she'll also add brown sugar. Mm -hmm. This is golden or uh, light brown sugar. Four tablespoon of this. Four tablespoon of light brown sugar. Don't use the dark one. Oh, they can also use the dark one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also use the dark one. Mm -hmm. Or. There you go. Four tablespoons. Now we're just going to mix it up. One cup of peanuts onto a Ziploc. What is Ziploc? And just mash it like that until it gets crumbled. And then put it on the top of the sauce. So, just like that. There we go. All right. So we went ahead and cut off the ends of the red leaf lettuce. Uh, wash and dried. That's already wash and dried. The peanuts don't over... Don't over smash. smash it. So nice and um, crunchy. The spring rolls, I went ahead and separated it. Just like that. And then now we're just waiting for the water to boil, which I think is boiling. Oh yeah. Okay. Once it's boiling, make sure that you are you mix your cold water with the soy sauce, uh, cornstarch, and sugar before adding it in there. Otherwise, you'll get clumps. Hello, mm -hmm. Then keep stirring on medium low heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How delicious. So Lola said because we're making a large batch, if you feel like it's um, not as thick, then go ahead and add more cornstarch. But I add more salt water. But I think it's getting thick though. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. We turned it off and we actually added a bit more soy sauce and then a bit more brown sugar and then I'll write it on uh, to the description box. But Lola has one. I'll go over here. Okay, one wrapper. Put that. Yeah, put the lettuce. And put it like this. Yeah, you fill it up at the from the bottom to mm -hmm. three quarters up. Fold. And then and then fold it like an envelope, right, Lola? Mm -hmm. And that's it. And here is yeah. It. And then you only put the sauce when you're ready to eat. When you're ready to eat it. And then put the nuts. Put the peanuts on top. And then also what we're gonna do later is caramelize uh, garlic. No, it's not caramelized. It's fresh if you want. Oh, oh, fresh garlic? Yeah. Oh. That's only optional. If oh, optional. Gonna, uh, fresh oh, I thought you fried the, the no, garlic. Oh, different. This one is uh, yeah. 
That's it. That's how you serve it. Mm -mm. Okay, yours. That's yours, Lola. I'm gonna start wrapping. Lola hasn't eaten, so we're. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make. There's 25 sheets into that one wrapper. Go ahead and make that, and then line it up. And then, if you're serving it for a party, just put your sauce to the side, and then put the peanuts to the side dish also, and then warm up your sauce. Um, and then people can just um, put the sauce on top. That's it, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this Filipino recipe of lumpiang sariwa or fresh lumpia. Mahalo. All right, one more time to show you guys. Okay, put it in the corner. Then hold it there. Then ring. And then my mom said, don't roll it tight. 